this is Robin Ali sharing with you our passion of all things cruise and travel. Now, we believe that you probably could go on a cruise and spend absolutely no extra money. But this video today isn't really about that. This is about telling you everything that's included in your cruise fare and then those little extras that... Um, you may want to spend out on or not. It's up to you. Absolutely. So, um, actually, there were so many. We had to make a list <laughs> as we started thinking about everything that was included. So here we go. Let's go start off on our list, Rob. There are a lot included. You're absolutely right. And people do go on cruises and not spend anything. I've seen plenty of people posting about this on, on social media pages as well. But also I've seen people posting about asking questions about what's included, what they have to pay extra for, which is why we're doing this video. So the first thing that is included, obviously, is your accommodation. This is your cabin. You choose the type of cabin that you, you want. Obviously, your fare is dependent upon what kind of cabin you choose. But you will get a cabin with beds for everybody. It sort of goes without saying that. That cabin will be serviced uh, at least once a day. Sometimes it's serviced twice a day. There's some cruise lines still do a, uh, a turn down mm -hmm. service. Um, so you will uh, will get that cleaned every day. You will also get toiletries in there uh, or a limited amount of toiletries, things like shampoos and soaps. And you will also get towels, which you can use in your cabin and you can also use them by the pool or take them off the ship for, uh, for your port days. So cabin included in your fare. But you generally get pool towels as well. Sometimes they mm. come in, their in the room, uh, sometimes they're up by the, by the pool as well yep. um main food now we've put main food here but <laughs> actually we haven't come across a cruise yet where it is just the three meals a day um so breakfast lunch and dinner is always included however i must say there's normally more than one dining room and the opening times especially in those buffet style um, venues, food venues, can go on for hours. They're pretty much back to back sometimes, oh, they can, aren't they? They can certainly overlap. And look, we could go into every single cruise line and the food options. But yes, there is food available uh, for your breakfast, for your lunch, and your dinner. There are sometimes other food outlets as well that you can get food from. Um, but food is normally um, split between a main dining room, which is a sit-down dining service. And I've seen people asking if there's extra for that. No, it's not. You will get a sit-down dining service that is included in your fare and also a buffet-style option. Um, I say buffet-style option because some of them are buffets, some of them are individual stations where they serve you. But that's that type of environment you will find on pretty much most ships. I say most ships because Virgin don't have a buffet. And I'm picking Virgin out specifically specifically because they That's are the all one. sit yes. down in different um Different in different, locations, in different, different locations, absolutely. Now, some ships will have a single main dining room, some will have a few main dining rooms, but with the same menu, and some will have different uh, di main dining rooms with different menus on. Check it out on the cruise line that you're looking at. Food, though, that food is included. Now, I added a few little extra bits about the food <laughs> because there's, I mean, I don't know about you, but I, I get like kind of munchies. I, I, <laughs> I still like those little extra things, even though you get all this kind of plated food, the proper food, let's say. So there's generally always kind of hot chips on offer at one of the venues. Um, and then things like pastries and cookies and fresh fruit um, is sort of always available at, at least sometime in the day. Um, that you can sort of yeah. Yeah, squirrel that away if you wanted to. Absolutely right. And what we quite often do is we'll uh, we'll go to the buffet in the lunchtime or in the afternoon and we'll pick out some, um, maybe some cold cuts, some cheeses, some olives and, yes. and a little bits and pieces and put them in, uh, in a container in our fridge that we can have later on if we get the munchies or if we want to just um, sit out, if we've got a balcony cabin, if we sit out on the balcony. Yeah. So That's we're, just an extra, an yeah. extra one for you. So some drinks, some drinks will be included on your cruise now this is again this is standard so we're going the, the very kind of um basic that you will get included in your fare so you will always have drinking water available from some outlet um 
and there is always some sort of um, tea and coffee available as well as some sort of soft drink um, like a cordial or, a, or a, um, like a lemon tea. Or a lemon tea. It, yeah. it varies so much depending on cruise lines but there'll usually be some kind of cold cordial type drink. There'll usually be tea and coffee. In fact I would go as far as to say there will always be tea and coffee yes. that's available 24 hours a day. Usually that's in the uh, the buffet. Mm -hmm. It is machine type tea and coffee or well the, the tea is probably tea bags and hot water, hot water so make it yourself um, rather than the specialty type coffees um, but it is there and it is available. And fresh milk and if you require a, a special dietary milk like soy or almond milk they will normally get that for yeah. you as well and if your kids like milk you can normally get a glass yeah. of milk from that from that station as well. Sometimes quite often there's a hot chocolate as well. <laughs> there is <laughs> which is a favorite for adults and children alike absolutely entertainment my goodness we could do a whole thing on <laughs> entertainment that's included but entertainment is always included so that is everything for day and night day, day yes and night. daytime nighttime so that's everything from sort of the theaters the shows the quizzes and um, what else have we got some sort of keep fit things the dj play music live music just goes on all that is yeah. included yeah generally there will be um some type of production shows be it uh, music dancing singing um comedian depends on what kind of cruise you're on so there'll be uh, that show in the main theater um there'll usually be some live music around the ship and there is also usually a nightclub with a dj that goes on into the early hours that's that's pretty much your your, your standard and then um, what you get on top of that yeah. depends on the cruise line de again, demonstrations so. now some cruise ships do offer things like craft craft kind of um mm. work so you can sort of make earrings and things like that they will tell you right up front how much they're going to cost they're normally a pretty good price but if you there's a whole family of you you might find that you end up spending a hundred dollars on making your own earrings and you might decide you not to do that yeah. um but they're always up front about the cost so um i would say you can be pretty confident that if you join an activity you will not be stung with a fee that was not let no it will you say on front. it will say on your daily activities but there are other daily activities things that they do like trivias and competitions um things like beanbag tosses and towel towel folding demonstrations mm. Ice um, carving demonstration. I'm just giving you a few examples here. They'll all be in They'll your daily it, yeah. activities. Anything that's an extra charge, they will say on that daily activities is an extra charge. But there is absolutely plenty to keep you going day and night. Lectures and seminars. Quite yeah. often, if you are going to somewhere sort of a little bit different or a bit, little bit unique, they may very well have a guest lecturer on board that will tell you about that uh, particular place that you're going to. Let's whiz on to the next load of facilities. Now, I laughed at this, Robert. Robert <laughs> put this one down. That was, okay, so you get your pools. Sometimes there's indoor pools as well as outdoor pools. They will always be included. And the whirlpools and spas that are yep. normally located within the vicinity of the general pools. Some ships will have slides. Mm. They're always included in the fair sun lounges i i laugh when i because I, I just thought can you imagine lying on your sun lounger and then somebody comes along with one of those ticket machines and kind of tells you they used to do years and years and years ago beach. when we used to we lived in the uk and we went on holiday in europe you would quite often go oh. to the beach and and get a, a sunbed and somebody would come along and give you a ticket and give you a money ticket that. like a bus ticket <laughs> 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 Yeah, if you're from the UK, you've been on one of those holidays, you'll know what we're talking about. You'll it's, understand um, this. Yeah, it's sun lounges. And they're all over the ship. So it's, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So they're, they're yours. They're yours um, for, for free, for included in your fare. Um, the gym. The gym is always included. Uh, and sometimes there's a sauna up there as well. Okay, so we have done. What else did um, we got on the? Uh, well, we did activities, but we've kind of we've crept into the activities when we did the right. entertainment. So I think we've done things like the. Um, so some of the larger ships now do have things like climbing walls and bumper cars and roller skating, and mm. we've been lucky enough to be, be on those. Yeah, and Royal they Caribbean. they were all included. Royal, Royal Caribbean has a lot of inclusions. That, like I just said, the roller skating and the uh, the laser tag, and um, yeah. So check check out what's included. All it will tell you on yeah. your cruise line's yeah. website. I think that's the one thing that, especially first timers. Mm. Um, 
uh, are a little unsure about is whether or not to join in something because they're going to get stung. They will have joined in something and they think, is this just going to go on my bill? Or they're frightened to ask or whatever. Um, I, I'm, I understand that because as the ships have got bigger and bigger and there's more on offer, yes, you just it becomes more impersonal and you just don't know what's included. But it'll, it'll normally be very, very apparent of what's included. Um, and, and if you need to pay, but most of those things are included for you. Now, one of the best things if you have kids is a kids club. Mm. Um, all the main uh, cruise liners now have them, apart from um, your friend, the um, Virgin. Virgin. Yeah, Virgin don't have them. 18 because plus. It's 18 plus, aren't yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, and the, the kids club vary a lot depending on the cruise line that you go on. Um, but there are generally um, kids clubs available for uh, different child's ages up to uh, 17 and they, they are segregated and they do separate activities. They're generally open until sort of after dinner time, something like that, and then they will open later on. Um, but they do make a charge for the later on for the child minding. It's usually fairly nominal, but all during mm. the day there's activities for the children to do and they're all included in your fare. It sounds strange, but sometimes the kids just get a bit bored. They've, they've done enough of the swimming and they've actually done enough of being with the adults. And they do seem to they love They do it. some really fun activities yeah. in there as well. They have yeah. their own parties when the adults are having a party sometimes. And they do sort yeah. of craft and they do uh, treasure hunts. And there's a whole heap of things. And I, we can't go into every one. And you can dip in and out of them. But, uh, so you don't have to yeah. sign up to them and then be obliged. And again, it's free that they're included um so tender transfers to shore as well so when you're on a port day mm. quite often especially as the ships are getting bigger and bigger now they cannot dock um at the port side so they have to dock a little way off and you well sometimes well, it's particularly quite, with the islands as well no, no quite, ships can yeah. yeah no ships can really stop at, at some of the islands some of the smaller islands but uh, so you'll need to get a tender mm. off the ship to your port of call sometimes these are uh, contracted in from the local um i don't know local port agency yeah. other times it's the ship's own um lifeboats that they use or a mixture of the yeah. two you will not have to pay for this no, this, this is, is all part of the not fare. An additional cost at all. I have seen people on social media asking about this, but it's not. If you go to a port of call, transfer from the ship to the land for you to enjoy your day and whatever activities you, you're doing is included. Is included. Mm. Tips and gratuities. Um, Point out here: this is this is from is. Australia. If you book and sail from Australia, tips and gratuities are included in your fare. This is not the case in other parts of the world yes. and I think it's maybe not the case if you book um, a transatlantic or trans-pacific sorry um, sailing sort of from Australia to the US for example I believe that you may have to pay some um, uh, tips Gratuity. and gratuities but your sailings within Australia booked in Australia um, no the tips and gratuities included nothing else to pay yes um, Except, I have to do an except here, except for the spa areas. Oh, yes. All the spa um, extras that you get. That seems like your facials, massages, all those kind mm. of uh, lovely extras that you get. They do incur an extra gratuity. And actually, it's quite hefty. Is it about 18%? Um, no, no. It depends on the, the cruise line. I think it, um, Carnival ones is 8%. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But just bear that in mind. And that, that really is, I mean, unless you've had a really terrible service, um, that will be added on to that yeah. bill. Yeah. Um, the cruise line app. Now, the app, what we mean by that is on your phone, all the cruise lines are now getting mm. into this, where all your daily activities, I'm holding my palm up. This this is a phone, by the way. This is my, <laughs> <laughs> this is my, my impression of a phone. All your activities are in the palm of my hand and the palm of your hand as well. So everything that's going on, your meals, the menus, um, uh, the weather, where we're sailing to, gosh, everything is oh, on quite this often app. There's a, quite often Fantastic. there's a chat or a messaging service as well, mm. whereby you can communicate with, um, with other people on the cruise ship. Now, the reason why we put this in is because uh, I see so many people asking if you need to purchase an internet package in order to use the app. And that's why we put it in. And the answer is no, you do not. The cruise app is yours. Sometimes there may be a small charge for the message or chat facilities, but all the other um, things like your restaurant bookings and your daily activities and your planners and everything, which are all on the on the app, um, are all included yes. as well. 
and you don't need the you don't need the um, the internet. You don't have to pay for that to be able to use it. Mm. And it really is it it really has become quite a plus point because you can mark off the activities that you want to do, and you can link with your fellow passengers so they can see what you're up to yeah. and decide to go, either go with you. I or, still like the paper ones. I still like to sit down and does. have a read and get marker out and have a look and decide what I was going to do. But from an electronic perspective, it gives you some of them give you a little bit of a reminder when something's coming up that you're booked save you having to uh, miss it do you know yeah. what's even better though it's included that you can have both you can have the paper everything oh yes you have the paper menus and the paper what's on yeah. for the day yeah. as well uh, am I going to flip over this page so, we've reached the end of what's well, included well everything's good so I think you can see that you, you can go on a cruise and not spend anything at all but yeah. there are other things that you can pay for and um, we'll run through some of those very quickly just so that you're aware some yeah. additional charges um, that you may optional charges that you may oh, wish to incur i just wanted to say as well so sorry flicking i'm doing my new my news readers <laughs> shuffle um i just did want to add as well they will always have um the the soap and the shampoo in in your uh, ensuite is is a very very mild kind of wash and it will do for your hair as well as your body it's the same thing mm. although it'll be in two different containers it's the same I've got very sensitive skin and I've used it. I can't recommend it for everybody, but I can just say um, it works perfectly well. I've never uh, been on a cruise yet where they provide conditioner. So if you were hoping to travel very light, you can get away with the, with the soap and use that as a shampoo, but you would need your own conditioner. Um, and then there's, yeah, obviously there's nothing else there like toothpaste or anything like that that's, that's added. So that was just a quick one just to to let the folks know so here let's just whiz through the things you have whiz to pay for because who wants to pay you so don't just... have to pay for them you can pay for them if you want to i know but we'll just okay. we'll, we'll slide through yeah. these then alcohol you have to pay for your booze alcohol and soft drinks yes um there are sometimes packages available but any alcohol or soft drinks are over and above what you get included are an additional cost but check, check the small print on your booking about whether or not you are allowed to take a bottle each or a bottle of wine. Um, sometimes mm. it's allowed and sometimes some non-alcoholic drinks. Yeah. You are allowed to take a certain limit on. So just give that a check. Yeah. Um, specialty coffee. You always have to pay for your specialty coffee, I'm afraid. True. So that's things like your cappuccinos and your lattes and all that jazz. Yeah. Also things like milkshakes and, and, and those sorts of things. And yeah. a decent cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> the tea. Actually, that's unfair. The teas have... The tea selection in the buffet areas has become very, very good. They have green teas and all kinds of, of lovely teas. That's mm. not bad. But anyway, so yes, your specialty coffee and specialty teas, you will have to pay for. And iced, yeah, did you say iced coffees? Uh, oh, didn't, but yes. Iced coffees. Specialty dining. What's the sort of specialty yes, dining Yes, if you then? want to go to the steaks restaurants or the um, the other specialty dining restaurants, there's too many to mention. But, like seafood um, and that kind of those thing. Those sorts of things. They will generally be an additional cost um, sometimes they do a, a one-off payment for uh, uh, all you can eat or, or set courses others you pay by the item but um, yeah specialty dining is an additional cost so we'll say now, the very posh ones yes maybe. whilst whilst we're on that subject as well generally speaking in the main dining room um, in the included dining you may find some other items Yes. that you can pay for in addition so although your main dining is free they may they may have a steak or a lobster or something that you pay an additional charge for if you want that particular item or some sharing platters mm. they sometimes yeah. do that if, if you want those share. particular items yeah um uh, let's see the spa services now we mentioned about the spa services yep. Th these are um, these are normally kind of contracted to an outside contractor yep. so you can have things like cloud nine and um what's the one uh, ellis um and elemis, um, elemis. Yeah, yeah, elemis. Um, different ones but yeah you sorts. will you will pay extra for any of the spa services and of course that's because they're of a kind of uh, i want to say personal nature so that'll be things like the shaves and the having your hair mm. done and everything so of course you will pay extra for that and they always have on board cruise ships are your souvenir shops <laughs> and your snack shops so if, yeah. you're, if you're after that special piece of chocolate or sweets yeah. and things 
Yeah, even though you're full, there's always room, isn't there? We can always find room for those snacks, but I'm afraid you're just going to have yeah, to pay for those. Souvenirs, <laughs> like your, your model cruise ships and your teddy bears and your, your logo hats and caps, all those you pay extra. Oh. And, and also, you also, if you want your photographs, they will take photographs everywhere, but if you want to purchase them or if you want to take them home, you have to purchase them um you yeah. have to purchase them. Yeah, yeah and you, yeah, can that's no it. <laughs> you normally get them either on on the film, um, and then the digital copy will be extra. They normally yeah. won't let you just have the digital For, copy. photos, additional charge. Yeah. Uh, sometimes room service. So this is um, obviously if you're in your cabin and you want room service, it's it differs wildly yeah. from cruise ship to cruise just ship. Just check on it what out. You get. And all we're going to say on that is if you want room service, check out whether there's a cost because it depends on different packages. It depends mm. on the cruise line. It's just check, just check it out if you want room service. Yeah, yeah. Um, and what's available? Yeah. Casino. <laughs> ka <-ching>, of course <laughs> yeah yes. if you're gonna gamble you're gonna pay for it yeah arcade yeah. games <laughs> yes same thing you yes. have to pay for that as well that's right if the kids want to play in the arcades generally there's an additional cost for that for the um yeah the games and, and the activities yeah, yeah you know and the little arms where you got your, your grabbers and your teddies <laughs> and stuff they're always they're always on the cruise True. ships and you have to pay however they do have games like um like your ping pong and what's the what's some oh, the table what's, tennis what's some of the little football, football for, yeah, for the, school. they're yeah. they're normally well they are always on board cruise ships yeah. you'll find them somewhere and they're included those kind of things yeah they might included. not have those particular ones but there will be some kind of table yeah. sports activities like your table tennis or your football or your um chess the air or, one, yeah, yeah, they they, have. yeah adventure packs mm You've got adventure packs, suck as. <laughs> I think you mean suck <laughs> I've as. It wrong. Yeah, yeah. So, so although you've got a lot of the activities included, things like on the PO on the uh, the edge. So, if you want to do the uh, like the flying fox and you want to do the rock climbing um, on the PO ships, they're part of the edge package. They are an additional cost as well. Yes, yes. And again, but it makes it quite clear that they are different it kind of highlights that they are oh yeah they're, they're, they're an opt-in not an opt-out yeah. so you're not going to accidentally do it unless you've specifically sort of ordered that particular pack internet now as we were saying mm. about the app on your phone in you don't need the internet for that but you will always have to pay for internet we haven't found a cruise ship yet if we're wrong tell us down below but we haven't found one yet where you don't have to pay yeah. normally you get a package for however many days you're on or at a more expensive, at a higher rate, you opt in for 24 hours. Mm. Um, I did the 24 hours last time and oh, I just kicked myself from one end of the ship to the other, didn't I? That it just cost so much. So yeah. um, if you if you really need it, consider yeah. getting a package. Yeah, there's generally, there's generally different levels as well, depending on whether you, what you want to do, whether you just want to search the social media or whether you want to do full on sort of yeah. streaming of videos. But uh, yeah, extra cost, check out what's available if you want the internet package. Yes, and short tours. Yes. So of course you do not have to pay to get off of your port of call. If you sure. want to do an activity, Sometimes. you can book them through the ship and pay for them. Or if you book something privately, you pay for that privately again. Yeah. So additional yeah. cost is short tours. Yeah. Yeah. And then finally, I think it's finally. No, yeah, well, finally. almost finally. I'm going to add another one in okay. there before. So the, the A bonus. So art gallery. If you buy anything in the art auction, some ships have art auctions on there. If you buy anything on there, that is an additional cost, obviously, that you pay for. Mm. So add that. Now you finish up. But they do have... Um they do have that you can win. They do give away. If you, they do give sometimes away. if you go along to the, yes, sometimes if you go along, you can win giveaways. Yes, yes. Yeah. You can go and just um, watch. Good and point. Take part. You don't <laughs> actually have to have any money to go and experience the art auction, which is actually quite good fun. Yeah, so actually that was a good one to add. Um, laundry. So although many of the ships will have some sort of a um, self-service laundry, um, but some of them have it so that you have a self-service. Yeah. You will have to pay for that. But the irons are always free. We've never seen... If okay. there is a laundry on a ship, and not all of them have, kind of a Luminosa doesn't have Still a laundry on board. By the, but if you if it's got a laundry on board, dryer, washers and dryers you will pay for, generally by the tokens. If not, or and additional to, because um, there is usually a laundry service whereby you can have your, um, your clothes laundered and ironed uh, and pressed by the... Um, the, the cruise the cruise ship and that's obviously more expensive as well but anyway laundry additional cost 
ironing if there is one on board generally free and because i always have the last word i'm going to add another one here right right this is true on one of the cruises it did say that they had a shoe shining service and they didn't it it said it's shoe shining service and you leave your shoes outside anyway we didn't have any shoes that you could actually shine because we had you know, trainers. I did. And I wet just shoes. wasn't going to do it. Oh, well, you didn't. You didn't let me know. But I, none of mine, I could put outside, and um, so we didn't try it. But if you have tried it and you have put your shoes out to be shined, and they didn't just get kicked out, kicked down the corridor by some kids, they came back nice and shiny. Let us know in the comments below. I would love to know if anybody has ever taken. Um, taken up on that service <laughs> right well that's that that second part went on a bit longer than we were supposed to anyway but um, so there is our video on what is included in yeah. your cruise fare so you know just what to expect to to get and a little bit about what you may um if you want to, to pay for. extra on top but check out some of our um room tours because we then tell you what you get in your room more services than what we've actually indicated here so things like your ice yeah being topped up and um, there's a lot to go through so check out all of our videos oh yeah yeah just <laughs> off you go you've got nothing better to do just go and <laughs> um, no but do check out those if you want to know all the extras that you mm. can get in your room that are included in your fare yeah so if you've liked this video please hit like please hit subscribe and hit the notification button if you want to see more of our videos that's it for this one thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one I've got the dog snoring next to me. Oh, bye. Bye for now. <laughs> bye.